Uh, California man says Ambien made him sexually assault a young girl during a Delta flight. I thought I always thought that apart from, you know, the possible passenger 57 situation, you know, uh, flying on the airplane is supposed to be relatively safe. You know what I mean? What what the fuck is going on here? Um, so authorities arrested a 51 year old Brian Patrick Durning. Uh, when the flight from San Francisco landed at Orlando International Airport in Florida. I knew Florida had to be wrapped up into this in some way. So on the flight, uh, Durning sat in an aisle seat next to the victim who was older than 12, but younger than 16. So, you know, when they gave you like the little age bracket boxes to, to check off. There you go. Uh, her mother was not seated with her due to a reservation conflict. So you know what this is about. It's like when you're going to book your ticket and you're traveling with a bunch of people, you want everyone to sit together. Or even if you're just traveling with another person, you want to sit with that person. But it, what it sounds like is the manifest was was pretty much filled. So they had no seats next to each other. So she couldn't sit with her daughter. I would be pissed. I don't know if I would be okay with that, but I'm some label me as like a helicopter parent. That's enough. We could talk about that another time. Um, so mom was not sitting with the 12 to 16 year old daughter. All right. So not long after the flight took off, uh, here we go. Uh, Durning ordered an alcoholic drink and began, uh, began acting oddly towards the girl coughing, sneezing on her. What the fuck? Where's the flight attendants? First of all, right? Like really? Okay. Uh, he then touched her hair and neck before trying to put his arms around her again, where the flight attendants, it sounds like this, uh, flight was full. I mean, that's why the mom couldn't sit next to her. What about the other people? You know, I don't know if you ever been on a plane, but it's really tight. So he couldn't have been doing this stuff and nobody else was noticing. Forget the flight attendants, just other passengers. Uh, so the girl tried to lean away from Durning, but he persisted by touching her inner thigh and trying to position her thigh towards him before moving his hand to her private area and penetrating her over her clothing. What the actual fuck? Again, they're, they're a packed plane. How is nobody saying anything? Okay, here we go. I really got to start reading these entire things, but I won't. I'll read them live. So another woman seated on the other side of Durning was asleep, okay, uh, for much of the attack, but woke up to find him quickly moving his hand away from the child who was shaking and crying. How the hell, like, I understand people, you know, are, are deep sleepers, heavy sleepers, or, you know, they take drugs to help them sleep, especially when it comes to, you know, sleeping on a plane, you, you don't want to be awake through that. But if this woman was not medicated, how did you sleep through that entire thing again these planes are cramped. So the woman asked the victim if he touched her, and she said yes. The female passenger lashed out at Durning for scarring the girl and demanded that he swap seats. There you go. Uh, in the process, he attempted to grab the woman's breast. Holy shit. This guy is an animal. Now I'm thinking to myself, really, where are the flight attendants? Okay, so she immediately notified a flight attendant when the girl's mother turned to see uh, what the commotion was about. So all this was going on and you were that into airplane TV or, you know, the little airplane, airplane uh, magazines they give you. You didn't notice none of this stuff was going on. Like, I'm assuming since you turned to see what the commotion was about, you were in, you know, uh, she was in line of sight. So you could have done that at any time. So throughout this entire time, you weren't just taking a peek just to make sure your kid was okay. What the fuck? Not victim blaming, but really though, what the fuck? Uh, at this point, the daughter mouth, he touched me. She also observed Durning's pants were open. The flight attendant quickly made Durning change seats away from the victim. Durning, who's, uh, who is from, what? Alt Altadena, California. He's from Cali. Altadena. Uh, claims he remembers nothing of the assault. He says he took an Ambien pill and a glass of wine, which knocked him out. Durning maintains he he only remembers waking up to someone telling him to switch seats. Uh, he's been charged with committing a crime aboard an aircraft, in flight, and abusive sexual contact involving young children. He was released on bond and forced to surrender his passport. Bro, that's the least they should be doing to this guy oh my god like he's blaming it on the drugs and um i'm not super fluent in ambien 
right? So I don't know um, uh, if this is a side effect. I highly doubt it is, but, you know, I could be wrong. So why don't we take a look? Ambien. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can figure this thing out together. All right. So ambient use side effects. There we go. Let's just be more specific. All right. Rapid heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of appetite, impaired vision, slow breathing rates, muscle cramps. Let's open it up. Let's see if there's anything more that uh, works to what this guy is saying here. Physical side effects, uh, double vision, respiratory, muscle cramps, abnormal body movements, unless he's talking about that, right? Cognitive impairment. Okay, memory loss. Okay, difficulty concentrating, disorientation to a place or time, loss of emotional effect, loss of pleasure, blah, 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 depression, suicide. Not so, okay, um, uh, memory loss. So he said he doesn't remember shit. So clearly we can see. Uh, cognitive impairment, we can see that that is a side effect. Uh, here's some more excessive sedation, lack of motor, okay, blah, 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 blah. Hallucinations, I don't know, no, aggression. So there's a couple here that, you know, kind of speaks to what he's saying. But, I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. This is uh, This is all bullshit. This guy knew what he was doing. I'm not saying he wasn't under any influence, but he knew what he was doing. I believe that... Um, uh, he was fully aware and he's just trying to blame this shit, man. But, uh, you know, viewing public, I've never, you know, I've never taken an ambient. So if you have, what are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This guy should never be allowed to fly again. All right. Deuces.